Hello guys, and welcome back, we last left off. World War I is over! It's over! We've won! It's it's done! The Allies, the Triple Entente, which is... A lot of nations, actually, uh, has finally won the war! I think we haven't got everything quite sorted out yet, but... Uh, we'll soon have it all done. So, now that the war's over... Let's, uh... End mobilization. We'll go for partial mobilization. Which will include free use conscription. So go for that. I'll call general elections. But I don't want to right now. What I want to do is shift my economy. I don't need anything in reinforcements. Do need consumer goods. And don't need as many supplies, but I still need some. And I need to start pulling my forces out of foreign land. So let's get you all back. Including my plane. Where is my plane? My plane is here. Let's get you home. Back to Madrid. Go normal. And off we go. If only my men could go that fast. Because these African... The African division here has got a long way to go. In fact, let's speed up a little bit more. To above normal. Yes, the world is at peace once more. Luxembourg is not part of our alliance, but they was liberated, so that's fine. Oh, there we go. Italy has uh, annexed uh, Libya, and they've broken the alliance because they was um, what is it? I believe they saw it as betrayal because they was promised the islands of Dalmatia down here, and did not get it because it went to the Serbians. So yeah, I'll take that. So, at the end of the war, we got some slight differences in history. So, the most important difference is America had never joined the war. Which is kind of big, because that's where, like, they made their army and became sort of a military power. So, currently, there is several superpowers left in the world. There's, of course, Britain, France, Italy, Soviet Union, the Empire of Japan, which is back there. And, dare I say, Spain is becoming back in t coming back into the international community very slowly but i plan to make spain a player on the world stage once more hopefully eventually but now i've got to focus on just domestic growth you even had to give them independence apparently uh eventually all these will break off into different nations i think Greece is massive, more massive than they ever should have been. They should have never had land in Turkey. Uh, the Kingdom of Croats and Slovenes, Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, also quite a big power. Because, have you seen all the men they have? It's a lot more than Serbia had, I think. Or it's, it's the same. It might be the same. No, it's more. It's definitely more. Uh, but yeah, that's quite a big power, allied power. we got Switzerland now, which is slowly rebuilding its forces. You no, know, it might be quite a big power by the end of this. If they can make enough men. Oh, wait, no. So that... Ah, that was the problem. It was given to Italy, that one province. So, yeah, so that... I thought that was... For some reason, I thought that was part of Switzerland. I guess because they held it for that long, but no. Uh, Switzerland is back to full strength. Germany had Adolf Hitler, new member of the DAP. Cool. So, oh, they've broken our lines. Yep, so they're gone. So the only people that should really stay, because Portugal should go. Yeah, if America was here, they would go. Japan will go. Uh, the British Empire and all of its uh, Commonwealth allies should stay, as well as France. Uh, Belgium should stay as well, I think. And I'm going to stay, of course. I'm going to stay here, if only for the uh, military tech that they occasionally give me. There's Greek... Why is there Greek people on Korska? Is that an important front? Ah, the landship prototype. There we go. Finally got tanks. And apparently there was something else which I completely forgot to do as well. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's not going to be a running theme where I just forget things. So, secret weapon. That was you. Got the heavy tank. And on the industrial front... We shall get... What should I get? 
Maybe on the, the industrial front, but maybe along here? Ground sport. That's what I wanted. I'll take that. And you. That's all of them. So, yeah. Honestly, it's going to be quite quiet, when I, uh, quiet now. World War One's over. So, for now, everything I'm doing is purely to improve uh, Spain and my army. It's going on fast, and we're probably going to be on fast for quite a while. Hopefully America will eventually finish the war down here. I really hope they do. They've upgraded his garrison. Yeah, they've upgraded. Right, well, I guess we're in it for the long haul. Uh, well, I'm here, set to above normal. You can be in... Oh, no, the, I think that's just a Sarland. Sarland has been made and puppeted by friends. Put you in Barcelona. So, what I want is to just throw everyone together. Everyone else. Uh, my... Yeah, they're still coming. They're going to take a while to get here, though, the Balkan Expedition. And you'll just sit in Africa somewhere. So, I'll just uh, reform these guys that I got. As soon as they're all together, I'll... Pile them up, and then distribute them out. Industrial capacity is coming up nicely. I'll just add a few uh, more factories to Madrid. Uh, they, Madrid should never stop making factories. There should always be some industrial uh, project that Madrid's doing. Hopefully this will be upgraded at some point when I get the tech, which is centralized control. Then we'll finally have... Uh, World War One, uh, HQs. Oh, what? You've annexed it. How did you annex all of that? And then you gave it back. Huh. You annexed all of that and then gave it back to Germany. Okay, so the, that's all gone now. Oh, they, oh, they uh, did, we got what we came for. Okay, so no, usually they pick something else, I think. Uh, heavy tank, thank you. Thank you for Great Britain. With the Entente, is that still the Entente, or are we in a new alliance now? Uh, we are part of the Allies now. It's changed over. Central powers is completely gone. Common term consists of everyone here. And the Mountain Division has finally uh, got what they want. No upgrades, there we go. So, how should I be dividing you up? So the Mountain Division and... Actually, no, I want to create an entire Mountain Division, so the Mountain Division is off. And these men have the first, second, and third. We should be over here. And we'll split up the fourth, uh, fifth, and sixth. We should be there. And we shall split up the seventh, eighth, and ninth, which will be here, stationed there. And that leaves the tenth... 11th and 12th, apparently. Is that right? Yep. So we're still short by a few men, which will hopefully be covered by uh, the Balkan Expedition, which is coming back. So when you get here, you can't get here. You're a trap. So there is no way to get by. Right. Japan has broken its alliance. That's fine. I guess I'm taking the transports I have. Where are my transports? Oh, wait. They're over here, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, right, well, you're going to be transporting... No, oh, i got to do this again, haven't I? Rebase to here. Got to work our way around. It's very important. Kuwait is also still part of the Ottoman Empire. I don't think they'll ever let them go. But we'll see, I suppose. Uh, technology. What can we get? We got tanks still coming in. We got everything coming in. Factories, uh, we're not... Oh, we're quite close with that one. Still... Still, it's... It's gonna take a while. It's all gonna take a while, um... Greece has broken its lines. Oh, wait, so never mind. Uh, my troops have been pushed out and... Are under deployment. Redeploying to Madrid at the moment. 
I guess you can rebase, uh... You just rebase back to here. Well... <laughs> Unfortunately, you're gonna have to walk. That's, that's just the... That's just how it is, I suppose. And I'll hopefully get you an entire mountain division. But not right now. When I have the production spare, I will, uh... Dedicate to making troops. I will need to make a lot of troops. It's gonna be very important that I do that. Uh, do that, especially uh, the garrison I want. In fact, I do also need to make the forts at some point. We got what? Uh, two decades, three decades actually before uh, anything really. Ha no, two decades. Yeah, sorry, two decades. Yep. Yeah. Before anything really happens, that's when it should start kicking off. And here, I will continue to go with forward control. Anything better I can get? Nope. Keep it on that. And the front line HQ should hopefully be upgraded. I won't rename you until everything's in place, I suppose. Okay, over there. And we got our border. I will need to also station men eventually on these uh, small fronts here. Military recovers, that's cool. Winds of change, yep. Uh, the war is finally over. I'll need to place uh, men on these places where they can actually land. Close air support. Okay. What should I go for now? Probably recon planes. I should probably get that at some point. Uh, let's go Mountain Divisions, I suppose. Let's keep going with this. Uh, yeah, there. Go, get me my Mountain Divisions! Revenge, right. Or revenge, sorry. But we have revenge in the winds of change. They're still... <laughs> Canadian troops are not going to leave, are they? They're going to be there for a while. I don't think they're ever going to get transports out. Some of the Australian troops, actually. At least I got a mighty alliance of people. If anything kicks off, I could actually... Oh wait, no, I couldn't. I was going to say, I could declare war on Portugal, but since they're part of our lines, they would have to drop out first. Uh, I can't get tanks yet. That should pop up at some point, though. Unless they need something. Uh, oh, we need artillery, you're right. Yeah, let's go for that, why not? Let's finally upgrade our artillery and maybe even make some at some point. Uh, overall, though, yeah, doing fine. Come out the war, nothing's really happened. Uh, oh, wow. Poland, <laughs> Jesus. You've really pushed on, haven't you? You had war weariness, but geez, you're doing really well against the Soviet Union. It won't be like that in uh, 20 years' time, though, will it? <laughs> Let's face it, in 20 years' time, it'll either be Germany or Russia that uh, determine the fate of the world. Or Spain! You know, it could really be Spain at some point, you know? If I really uh, get everything together. We'll have like a nice army ready to launch a major offensive, because at the moment I'm going to be focusing on defense for the next. Two decades. Uh, no, I don't want anything going into reinforcements. That's... Why would I need that? I'm not uh, going to war at any point. So it's all down to the production. All down to my production. See, I could cut everything out. All this sort of inter-period time. That is like most of the game, which is going to be the interwar period. At least in this mod. Uh, if I was playing by the scenarios, um, we would be done in like a year. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah, it'll be done in like a year, because then the scenario ends in 1921. But no, with the Great War mod, we got that uh, till 1991. Czechoslovakia had 1920 parliamentary elections. Albania went with uh, the League. Went with the League will uh, keep the world at peace, joining the League of Nations. Enjoying the League of Nations, so they're in. 
Apparently, I haven't been asked to join myself. You know, they've sort of left me out. I didn't get anything from World War One. No territorial concession concessions. No uh, real prestige boost. I guess I got a bit of a prestige boost fighting on all fronts. You know, if it's only personal. Um, looks like Poland is being driven back. They're got some men down here, I think. Sort of being closed off. Uh, Mongolia had purge of its army. And that is the end of this part, so... Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and next time, the war is over. And now we go into a transitional period of peace, where I make tech... Oh, Portugal's left. And I guess I prepare for the invasion of Portugal, which I can't declare war on yet, because I'm a de democratic nation. Can't declare war unless, uh... They are very belligerent. We have firm interventionist policy. So that's what I want to do. I want to have this all the way over to the left. It's going to take a while, though. 1920, so we get another one this year. Anyway, that's the end of this part, folks. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.